Hey, Michael Griffiths here, founder of Referral Marketing Guru, and welcome to this week's Get More Referrals Today podcast. Today, I'm going to go through the five cues, the five questions to improve your marketing, to make sure that you're thinking about the right things, that you're not just throwing money up against the wall, hoping that it's like mud and it sticks. It never does. So if you're right now feel like you're wasting money on marketing that's not working, if you feel right now that your marketing just isn't a system or a process, if you feel right now that it's really hard to generate leads, then this is going to be for you. Before I get into that, make sure you subscribe to our Get More Referrals Today podcast, wherever you happen to be listening to this right now, whether that's on Podbean, iTunes, Spotify, on our YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Also, come join us in our Million Dollar Referral Facebook group. It's where we teach how to be able to get more referrals, use your networks more effectively, and create partnerships to build your business. Either click in the description wherever you happen to be listening to this, or search the Million Dollar Referral Network on Facebook. So, what tends to be the problems? Sales is too hard. No one knows who I am. It's like I'm hiding in the corner. I wish people would actually know what I did and how to find me. Paid marketing is really expensive, but organic is really slow. If this seems like you, it's simply getting warm, qualified leads and referrals every day is what you want, there's one problem. There's no system. There's no process. And generally, you wake up going, how am I going to make sales rather than going, how am I going to create an audience? And there's a big difference. So sales is only hard when you don't have warm, qualified prospects coming to you every single day. Sales is only hard when you don't have your networks promoting you, sharing you, creating opportunities for you. Sales is only hard when you're not leveraging through partnerships. So you don't have to spend money on paid marketing. You don't need Facebook ads, SEO, pay-per-click. If you'd like to use them, not a problem, but it's not a must. And even if you are using them, you still need systems and processes around the channel. The majority of times, those things don't work simply because that's what you are doing, hoping that it will work, rather than having a process around it, having an overall structure. So what are the five questions to ask yourself right now? The first one is, well, do you have a CRM? Do you have a customer relationship management system, a database where you're collecting names and emails of prospects who have the pain points that you solve and who are looking for a solution? So therefore, they're coming to you. It's not that you're just finding a bunch of names and emails and sticking them onto your database, hoping that they might be the right people. So do you have a CRM? The next thing, do you have a way to get people into your CRM? We call this your tool. So we talk all the time to our audience. Hey, if you've got a problem getting referrals, make sure you grab our nine point referral game plan. That's our tool. Because the only people who would grab that game plan are the people who have the pain point and who are looking for a solution. We don't want any business owner grabbing it. If a business owner's got no interest in getting referrals, perfect. They don't need to be around us. If a business owner's doing really well using some sort of paid traffic, perfect. They don't need to be around us. So the only people who should be getting the nine-point referral game plan are the people with the pain point 
and who are looking for a solution. So not only do you need a CRM, you need a way to get people into your CRM. We call that your tool. Are you using social media for business? So when I talk about using social media for business, I don't talk about, oh, I'm putting up nice content or a photo of the dinner I had. I'm putting up a video or a blog. Yeah, that's nice. If you're using social media for business, it means that you're driving people off your social platforms into your CRM every single day. And you're doing that on at least LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram, the main three. You don't get to choose which social platforms you play on. You should be playing on wherever your clients happen to be. And your clients are on those three. What channels do you actually use to bring people into your CRM, to promote your tool on. So a channel, such as our partner channel, our networks channel, our social channel, our live and leverage channel, Facebook ads might be a channel of yours, SEO might be a channel of yours, networking might be a channel of yours, radio, TV, print, they're all channels. Putting up a blog, is not a channel, it's an education piece. The number of people who are here, oh yeah, I put up content on my social media. Unless that is driving people into your CRM, it is not a channel. It's just an activity that makes you feel good and probably educates the wrong people who have never got a chance from buying from you anyway. It's why so many people on their social platforms have just got completely the wrong strategy. Now, I'm sorry to offend if you're a social media manager or company, but if all you're doing is putting up content and you're not focusing on growing your socials with the right people or taking them off into your CRM, then your strategy is wrong. You are pretty much throwing mud, hoping that it sticks and that you might have a handful of people on your social platforms that actually have the pain point that you solve and actually care about your solution. And that number will be really low. So do you have a CRM? First thing you have to ask yourself, how do I get people into my CRM? What's my tool? Second thing I have got to ask myself, do you use social media for business? Third thing, am I actually using it correctly with a proper strategy? What channels do I use to bring people into my CRM? And the last one, how do I get sales calls booked? Because the whole purpose of marketing is to get sales opportunities. So how do you get sales calls booked? The other five things that you need to have really clear answers around. The five Qs. And unfortunately, for most businesses, they just don't. They might be able to answer two or three of those things, but there's not enough of a system or a process that they could follow day in, day out, without fail. You know it's a system or a process if you can pick it up and just give it to somebody else to be able to do for you. That's what you want to be able to get to. So where does your focus need to be? When building out a marketing system, what should your focus be? Well, besides building the systems and the processes, it needs to be around, how do I build an audience? So I said at the start, sales is only hard if you've got no warm qualified prospects to sell to. Within our implementation program, we help our clients to get 36 new clients in the next 12 months working with us. They're generally fairly new businesses. 
and they've got to build out the foundations and the structure to the million dollar referral system. But to get three new clients every month without fail shouldn't be hard at all. In Partnership Club, that's 100 new clients. Nine clients a month, eight and a half clients a month. Now to do that consistently for 50 weeks means that you need a system and a process for that to happen. So you need an audience every day, warm, qualified prospects coming in. You need to educate that audience need to be able to take them from being a cold prospect to a hot prospect. And you need to get sales calls booked in. Now, if you get focused on those three things, business becomes really easy. Getting clients becomes not difficult at all. So ask yourself, how am I with my five Qs? How am I with my CRM? How am I with a tool getting them into the CRM? How am I with my social strategy? How am I with the channels that I'm using? How am I with getting sales calls booked in? As always, if you've got any questions or you aren't sure, reach back out. You'll find us on any of our social platforms. Jump into the Million Dollar Referral Network Facebook group and ask, leave a comment wherever you happen to be listening, watching this right now, and we'll make sure that we get your questions answered. Also remember, you can find us on iTunes, get more referrals today, on Spotify, get more referrals today, on YouTube, Referral Marketing Guru, and on any of the major social platforms just search Referral Marketing Guru. Make sure you subscribe and come and join us. Jump into that Facebook group, the Million Dollar Referral Network. Shoot us a message if you've got any questions about what we've just gone through or being able to grow your business through referrals. If you're listening to us on iTunes, love for you to leave a little five-star ranking there so that more people can get more referrals into their business. Till next time, take care. Look forward to seeing you next week.